Alright farmers, it's Monday the 15th of April and we're back with some mods. So first up is Utility Markings, this is by Squiggles, 0.58 megabyte on the download and you can, you're going to find, right, 35. 35 of these things in the construction menu and under decorations and others, so we'll scroll along to find them. So there's your first one, now they're all called Utility Markings and then like with a number after the end, so you've got number one there and it goes all the way down here to number 35. I, I, I don't know what any of them mean to be fair because I've, I've never worked in the utilities but I mean they're all right. I mean you can delete them as well. I mean, they're only going to cost you a pound each or a dollar or a euro depending on what you're playing with and you can delete them like that. There you are. So if you want to sell it off, well, you're not getting your pound back. <laughs> you're still losing a bit of money but Oh, I mean, if you want to decorate your area, so like, say you had your farm and whatever, and you had the local water company or gas company come down and say, look, we need to do some work on your land. I mean, there is one up here that sort of gives it away. I mean, we come up here, there. No, not that one. No, uh, is it this one? Uh, water. Oh, and that one. Gas. Yeah, I can sort of gather what they're supposed to be for, but I mean, the, the rest, you may know exactly what they mean. Two, two and a half MG, I, I don't know what it stands for, but that being said, nothing against the mod, mind you, that's just down to my ability to know things. Ha, fair enough. Ah, they look alright, they're going to decorate your farmyard with some upcoming work. Yeah, very nice. Right, next up is the White Mill, this is by Death Pledge, 32.68 megabyte on the download. And you're going to find it in the construction menu and under productions and factories, so we'll scroll along to find it. They are 25 grand to place down, and it's not just a flour mill, it's a sugar mill as well. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough indeed. Obviously, windmill style, so harnessing the nature's whatever you want to call it. Renewable energy, that's better. So you've got your production chain menu just there, and then round the back is going to be your loading in point, and then your pallet spawn point on that ledge. So, I know auto loaders, the, yeah, they should work off of there. Can't see why not. So let's go and have a look in the menu itself. There we are. That's it. Have a look. Right. So we've got wheat flour, barley, oat, sorghum, and corn flour. That's all right. That's not normally added into the grain mill. Then you've got sugar beet cut, sugar beet, uh, sugar beet, sugar beet cut, and then sugar cane. Yeah, that's two in one. And with the extra of corn flour. Oh, very nice. Right, next up is Timbered Houses. This is by Farmer 5 Tom, 29.03 megabyte on the download. And you're going to find 16, 16 different decorative houses in a construction menu and obviously under decorations and others. So we'll scroll along to find these. So there you are, Timbered Country House starting off. Now all of these cost nine grand each and some are smaller than others. So I'd go for a bigger one, you get more for your money. Now these though, if we go and get one out, yeah, you can change the colour. Oh, I'm not sure that blue, that's a bit bright mind you, but... You know, cycle through, find one that you like. <laughs> oh, fair enough. I mean, they do look all great, I must admit. I prefer... Where is it? Down here, this one. Oh, you, you can have some house parties in there, no problem. I mean, what one's that one? So let's scroll along. Obviously, they're all nine grand. I think it was... Is it that one? Yeah. What colours do these come in? Same colours. Obviously, you pick which one. Oh, you can pick a black one for Halloween. <laughs> Actually, that to be fair, that does look like something from a Halloween film. Ah, fair enough. I mean, they all look great. You can't go in them. Obviously, they are just just for decoration, mind you. But decorations, I mean, they're all right. Our right, next up is the Lizard MKS Eight Plus. This is by John Wayne, nineteen thirty, two point one five megabyte on the download, and you're going to find it under animals. Now. It's got an 8,000 litre capacity, 25 grand to buy. You've got the option of design, standard, beacon. There you are, just, uh, just below the tank itself. you then got main colour. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, shiny chrome, why not? And then your rim colour is obviously going to be your rims. So we'll, we'll go the usual. Oh, pink and chrome. Oh, look at the state of that. That's ace. I mean, to be fair, swivel axe on the front. Yeah, you know what I say about these, just driving forward, it's a lot easier, because I'm terrible at reversing them, but still, that's all right. I mean, it'll do the usual milk, water, liquid fertilizer, and herbicide. That's all right, that is. 
Right, next up is the Class Roland 520. This is by Eid123, 13.03 megabyte on the download. And as you can imagine, you're going to find it under balers. Now, it requires 90 horsepower from your tractor, 10 mile an hour working speed, 125 centimeter round bales. This will do 55 grand to buy. The option you've got on Will Brands are Trelleborg, Vredestein, or Trelleborg. Yeah, I've got wides as well if you wanted to. Fair enough. Configurations you've got Roto Feed, Roto Cut. Or rotor feed. Right, fair enough. That did do something, didn't it? Or is it. Oh, it's, ch it's changing the stuff inside. Oh, you didn't have to do that. I must admit, that's like a detail that you probably wouldn't even notice unless you was looking for it. It's like the inputs. Oh, that's all right. That is all right indeed. The last mod for the day is the Massey Ferguson 8100 pack. This is by Niku Do 55. 53.13 megabyte on the download. You're going to find this one under small tractors and the next one under medium tractors. So it starts off with the 8110, 8130, 135 horsepower engine, 26 mile an hour top speed, 58 and a half grand to buy. Then you've got configuration standard, 180 kilo front weight, 300, 420, 540, 660, 780, 900, a three point and a three point with a PTO. I think we're going to go with a three point with a PTO. You would do, wouldn't you? Why not? Why not? Engine setup. So on this one, so 135 horsepower. Then you've got 145, 155, then back to 135. Trelleborg, Michelin, BKT, Midas, Continental, Redestein, and Trelleborg. Now we'll come down to here and we'll go for twin wheels. It's got those blue brackets on. That's interesting. Obviously holding the wheels together, mind you, so they don't fall off. But I like that. That's all right. Front fenders. Yes or no. Puts those on the front. Datatronic. It's going to be a little little display right by your right hand shoulder as you sat in the cab. Then you've got CB and GPS. So you've got no CB, Matrix 430, Trimble, CB and Matrix 430, CB and Trimble, or nothing. So obviously... For us on console, you know, it's GPS doesn't really mean anything, mind you. So it's just for aesthetics. So you go for which one you want. And then got back attacher. So we've got a trailer low attacher only. Position one, two, three, four. Position one and K80. Two and K80. Three, three, three and K80. Three K80. There you are. Put my teeth in. Four and K80. Low bar. And then back to the trailer low attacher only. So you could have, you know, if you've got like a higher trailer sort of thing, you know, a higher attacher point. Yeah, I mean, that, that will fit in nicely. Because obviously, if you've got a low attaching point and a high attacher trailer, you know, it's going to look a bit stupid, though, isn't it? So oh, I like that. That's all right. You then got lights. So we've got additional on the front. So it's just above the indicators. We then spin it around the back because we've got additional at the back, just above the indicators. You then got additional front and back. You then got LED versions. LED additional on the front. LED additional on the back. LED all round. And then nothing. You then got beacon. Left, right, left and right or nothing. You then got beacon type. So if we go and put those back on. Got one, two, three, four, five and six. And then seven and then eight. Eight different beacon types. Signs and horns. Got triangle on the back, warning signs, horns on the roof, although they are just for aesthetics, mind you. Triangle on horns, warning signs and horns, or nothing. So, obviously, you pick your decoration. You then got beacon strobes. <laughs> yeah, these are raised. Front grille, top of the cabin, both, or nothing. So, obviously, they match up with your beacons. Not a problem. You got the main colour. You got red, black, another red, white, or orange. Yeah, fair enough. Now, the second one, the 8140, 8160, is pretty much the standard, the same as the 8100. The only difference is going to be the engine output. So 160, it starts off at 180, 200, and then back to 160. All the other options are the same, including those very interesting wheel braces. Yeah, very nice. We've also got a few updates as well. So we've got the Deutz D06 series remake by Blauer. Got the Wood Crane by Kenny456. The Husqvarna 266 XP by Gamer HZS FSH. The Stoll Super 1 by Bremi456. Pallet Pack by Gian FS. Cow Barns Pack by VX Mapping. 
Bonker Silo set by Top Ace 888, Feed Mixing Plants M and XXL by DS Power, and the Solar Panels by Farmer 5 Tom. So that's your mods done for you. Why not go treat yourself and pick up some Andy's Farm merch? Link in the description below. And whilst you're down there, why not hit the join button? Come join us on Andy's Farm. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. It's muchly appreciated. But from me, that's it for today. And I'll see you in the next one.